All right, so brothers and sisters, we are right in front of the, the first church of England, or the first Anglican church in this country. And uh, underneath the Anglican church was the male slave dungeon. So when you come closer, you find this. This was the entrance to the observation post in the male dungeons. All right, so this was the entrance. This end was exposed. So I think it's whoever passed by with a Bible at the armpit going to church to worship their God or Jesus could see a yell, could smell, could know what was going on in the dungeons. Those in the dungeons also heard whatever was going on in the church. So while they are in the dungeons, they kept an, an eye on the captives. And as I mentioned, this was not a coincidence. Same happened at Elmina Castle, Fort Amsterdam. Yes, it continues on and on. So they built churches and dungeons. You know, psychologically. So you realize that now that they have the right race, black race, African race, okay, now one, in their mind, one is dominating over the other. Yeah, white on top, black on bottom. Exactly. So these were the perceptions. You know, and biblically, the Bible was used. Mis yes, it was used to, to cripple us more, slavery, colonization, and, and all that, yeah. You said that the, male, that the males were here um, why males and not females? I'm just curious to know why not build their church over the females, females. the women who oh. bring in life okay. versus the men. Okay, so uh, in Elmina Castle it was different. The Dutch rather built their church on the female dungeons. The Dutch? And this yes. Is the English. This is the English. Decided yes. They so men. with them it wasn't really about the men or women. It's about the mentality. Mm -hmm. Whether man or woman. I see you as my property. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like basically I'm dominating over the race. Yes. Yeah, so that's how come they build the churches. So it was like it didn't really matter about the gender. Yes. It didn't really matter. Yeah, so it's still about the idea that, yes, my church is one on top of the dungeons. Yes, so that brings dominance to me over the one I'm oppressing. Yeah. And also, the Western form of education or Western form of ideas, we shift in, not even we, we being forced to learn the ways of our oppressors started right here also. Yes, started right here in this building. It's now a children's library. Currently, it's a children's library. So, what happened? They, they, did they dismantle the whatever parts that were used in the church to put someplace else? Okay, so. Um, Initially, this place was a church and a classroom. Right. After the British left, this place was used as a broadcasting house and a post office. So they kept their chairs and whatever they had. Yeah, so what also happened was the congregation now expanded. So they moved the church out to the other one I showed you. Yeah, so they moved the church from the castles to the town. Because now they felt that it's safer to be in the town. In those days, around the 15th, 16th, 17th century, the Europeans were really scared staying outside mm -hmm. the, the castle. But the 18th century, 19th century, yes, they felt so. Because now they had shared this continent among themselves. So there was no fear of maybe I'm English and the Dutch is trying to attack me. Or I'm Dutch or the French, aha. Uh -huh. So the pieces of whatever artifacts were still there and reused no. by modern day Yes, they, they moved the artifact from here to the other church. So when you go to the Anglican church, oh, you still see yeah, some yeah. of the, they are there. Oh. the Anglican, the Methodist, the Catholic, oh. yes, they are there. Okay. Yes, That's they are there. Yes, they moved it there. Thank right. you. Okay, so let's end the thought downstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can come in the shade and I'll talk to you about this plaque that we ended over here.